ever wondered how narcissists pinpoint their scapegoat? It's a complex process influenced by various factors and dynamics. Today, we're delving into the labyrinth of narcissistic scapegoating, a tactic often used by individuals with narcissistic traits to maintain their distorted self-image and control within their relationships. Narcissistic scapegoating isn't a one-size-fits-all process. It's like a twisted chess game where the narcissist is the player and the pieces are people in their life. They move these pieces strategically and who becomes the scapegoat can depend on a variety of factors. The first two factors are vulnerability and challenge. Narcissists often target those who appear more vulnerable, perhaps someone younger, quieter, or struggling with self-esteem. These people are considered easy targets. On the flip side, narcissists may also choose individuals who challenge their authority or disagree with their viewpoints. These challenges threaten the narcissist's inflated self-importance, making them prime scapegoat candidates. The next element in this twisted game is emotional supply. Narcissists thrive on emotional reactions. Those who react strongly to their manipulation provide a potent source of negative attention, giving the narcissist emotional control. Additionally, individuals who possess high levels of empathy and compassion may also find themselves in the scapegoat role, as their guilt is easily manipulated. Family dynamics also play a significant role. Narcissists can exploit existing sibling rivalry or family conflict to designate a scapegoat. Moreover, pre-existing family roles like the troublemaker or black sheep might unconsciously predispose an individual to become the scapegoat. Finally, we come to the narcissist's own defense mechanisms, projection and externalizing blame. Narcissists often project their negative qualities onto the scapegoat, shifting attention away from their own flaws. By blaming the scapegoat, they dodge responsibility for their actions and maintain control of the narrative. The selection of a scapegoat is a calculated decision made by the narcissist to maintain control and deflect attention from their own flaws. It's important to remember, being the scapegoat isn't a reflection of your worth or personality, but rather it's a result of the narcissist's manipulative and dysfunctional behavior. Narcissists often target those perceived as vulnerable or those who pose a challenge to their authority. This is the paradox of how narcissists choose their scapegoats. Let's delve deeper into this. On one hand, narcissists hunt for easy targets. Individuals who might be younger, quieter, or have lower self-esteem, they are seen as less likely to fight back, making them appealing options for the narcissist's manipulation. On the flip side, narcissists are also drawn to challenges. Individuals who dare to dispute their authority or contradict their views. Why? Because these people pose a threat to the narcissist's inflated sense of self-importance. This challenge, this threat, presents an irresistible opportunity for the narcissist to assert their dominance and re-establish their perceived superiority. In essence, it's a lose-lose situation. Whether it's vulnerability or challenge, the narcissist is always looking for a way to assert their dominance. Narcissists draw from those who provide them with an emotional supply. The emotional landscape of an individual can be a veritable feast for a narcissist. Emotionally reactive individuals, those who respond intensely to the narcissist's manipulative tactics, provide a rich source of negative attention. This emotional reactivity, whether it's anger, sadness or frustration, feeds the narcissist's need for control and dominance. But it's not just emotional reactivity that draws a narcissist. Those with a deep well of empathy and compassion can also become targets. The narcissist manipulates these individuals, exploiting their kindness and understanding, often provoking feelings of guilt and responsibility. This allows the narcissist to shift blame and maintain control, all while drawing out a steady stream of emotional response and attention. In essence, the narcissist exploits the emotions of others for their own gain. They manipulate and control, drawing from the emotional reserves of their chosen targets, all in an effort to maintain their inflated sense of self-importance. Family dynamics play a significant role in who becomes the scapegoat. Imagine a chessboard where each piece has a distinct role. In the family, these roles might be the golden child, the troublemaker, or the black sheep. These pre-established roles can unconsciously predispose certain individuals to becoming the scapegoat. Narcissists are adept at exploiting these roles, using them to maintain their control and manipulate the narrative. 
Now let's delve into the realm of rivalry. Sibling rivalry, for instance, is as old as time itself. It's like a fertile field waiting to be sown. A narcissist can exploit such existing rivalries or conflicts within the family to designate one child as the scapegoat, sowing seeds of discord and reaping the benefits of control and power. In essence, the narcissist manipulates these family dynamics to their advantage, further entrenching their control. The family becomes a chessboard, and the narcissist, the player, deftly moving the pieces to serve their own ends. The narcissist uses the scapegoat as a projection screen for their own unwanted traits and insecurities. Imagine a movie projector. The narcissist shines their own shortcomings onto the scapegoat, making them the embodiment of these negative characteristics. It's a clever, albeit destructive, form of self-defense. By projecting their own flaws onto someone else, the narcissist can maintain the illusion of their own perfection. Their insecurities, their failings, their negative traits, they belong to the scapegoat, not to them. This allows the narcissist to uphold their inflated self-image, completely undisturbed by reality. But projection is just one part of their defense strategy. The narcissist also skillfully externalizes blame. When things go wrong, it's never their fault. Instead, the scapegoat is the one to blame, the one who carries the burden of the narcissist's mistakes. This tactic not only allows the narcissist to evade responsibility, but also gives them control over the narrative within the family or group. Through projection and externalizing blame, the narcissist maintains their self-image and control over the narrative. Remember, being a scapegoat is not a reflection of your worth or personality. It's a twisted outcome of the narcissist's dysfunctional behavior, not a statement about you. You are not at fault here. The first step to breaking free from the scapegoat role is self-awareness. Recognize the patterns, understand the dynamics, and see the role for what it is. A manipulation tactic, not a truth about you. Next, set clear boundaries. Decide what you will and won't tolerate and stick to it. This may be difficult, especially if the narcissist is a family member or someone close to you. However, it's crucial to protect your mental and emotional health. Finally, seek professional help. Therapists, counselors, and support groups can provide guidance strategies, and the reassurance that you're not alone in this. Remember, it's not just okay, but necessary to ask for help. You deserve respect and healthy relationships. Don't hesitate to reach out for help and break free from the cycle of abuse.